like YouTube, this is Arcadius Dude Minecraft, and I wanted to show you here how to make a lever act as a button. Um, I really haven't, I did some searching on this. I have a particular use that I wanted to use a button as, I'm sorry, as a, a, but, a lever as a button, instead of the other way around. And why, you could say, why don't I just want to use a button and put a T flip-flop on it, and have the outputs branching off in two ways, and just have the button act like a button, and the other end act like a T flip-flop, kind of like how a lever works. Well, I wanted to use a lever as a lever, but have it act like a button. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, first we have the door, and here's a regular button, standard input. Door stays on for 0.9 ticks, which I believe is about a second, and goes off. So you hit the button and it does that. Here's the lever, and same thing. Door goes on, door goes off. Door goes on, door goes off. Um, normally a lever would make the door stay open if it's in the on position, which the lever is providing power at the moment, and the door would be off when it's in the off position. So what this does is this splits out the output from the lever into two circuits. This one um, you'll recognize from Minecraft Attic. This is a, st um, a basic monostable circuit set in the with repeaters set here to the 4, 4, and 2 position, which basically mimics the uh, delay of the standard button press about the same time. It's enough to uh, for our purposes, and I'll show practical use this later in the video. Um, the power goes on, and then it's delayed and sent out as a short pulse, and then it's not sent out. So it only gets sent out once. So this is from when you're turning the lever. Go ahead. All right, so the lever's off right now, and now it's going to provide power. Provides it through the circuit, and then it's it. That's It's done. It just sends it when it's being detected on. So basically, it's kind of like a, I think another name for it is edge trigger. So it's detecting it when the power is turning active. When it was previously inactive, it sends out a pulse. So that's great, but on the when the lever gets turned off, it doesn't send out power. It's actually power that it's being sent out, as you can see here, will actually get turned off. So that's what this circuit over here is for. This is a um, edge detector for the uh, falling circuit, I believe. Um, and the uh, signal is split, and then it's delayed on one side and not on the other. And basically, it sends out a pulse as the signal turns off. It's basically detecting that difference there. And then that sends that pulse out when the lever's getting turned off, and it has the same effect as if uh, you press the button. So it's on, it's off. So that basically makes the lever act like a button. Well, why would you want to do that? Well, I'd want to do it because, let's say I have this input here that I want to provide constant power to, and I want to still allow the lever to trigger something just like a button, which will be that, like that door over there, and whether it's turning on or turning off. So I'll show you why I did this here. I and mean, you could do a button and then have the button branch off towards the door, and then this other branch off would be connected to a T-flat flip. But um, I haven't really seen this done on YouTube where uh, a lever acts like a button, so I wanted to put that video up there. All right, and here's a practical use of this. I will put the creator's links in the description. There's also a little credit sign here, but I'll make it easier for you to link to it. This is a flower generator. I um, had a number of builders for this, but I'm just going to go inside here and show you what it does. Um, so this isn't my idea, and this light switch thing here, there's glowstone, keeps the mobs from spawning in here when you're not using it. So as the sign says, says here, lever up when you're not using it. When you are using it, you hit the switch. Yep, that's also Minecraft Attic Circuit. I'll show you that in a second here. I just wanted to give you a practical demonstration of this here. Okay, so you got a lever that's constantly providing power to the field underneath of it. And I will, um, I don't remember the guy's name, but I will give him this credit in the description for his idea for this awesome flower C generator. You need bone meal for this. So basically it's redstone underneath this constantly turning on and off and you just spam it and it constantly makes the creepy noises. No, it makes the flowers and the seeds instantly uh, uproot. So you can just walk around and collect them really fast. You can just take stacks of bone meal and convert them into flowers and seeds really, really fast. So it's really nice. And I don't know why that block's not being... Anyway. 
hit the button, hit the lever again, and it acts like a button, which toggles the mechanism up top. That's all there is to that. So I'll head up now. Okay, more redstone. Alright, so as I showed you down there, you'll see the same circuit come up here. Here's the uh, where the input comes up right here. It branches off in two directions. One direction goes to the monostable circuit, which looks like that. And that's for when the lever gets turned on. The other branch here goes into this, which branches off. It's just like down below. The uh, edge detector, so it detects when the uh, power is going out of the lever when you're turning the lever in the up position to turn the machine off and to trigger the button switch. And all that just runs down into here and around into this spot right here, which is the where the button was for uh, Minecraft Addicts. Really cool block swapper. It's drop down ceiling lighten. You can see that. Um, Can think I can trigger it over here so you can see. So I'm going to take the power out. It should get triggered. Um, okay, it's not triggered because I took power out there. Okay, there we go. Powered. So yeah, you see, you see that just swaps the block. That's all it does. But if you use glowstone, you can use this drop down lighting, it's really nice, um, and that's how you can get a lever to act like a button. Now if you know of a better way to do that, to combine both these two circuits, monostable for the, uh, I guess it's rising circuit, and then the rising edge, and then the falling edge, if you can make them into one, that'd be awesome. Um, but this is compact enough, this works, and uh, I get to use the lever, it looks like a light switch, and yeah, so there you go.